giving you vet notices, 24-hour vet notices on that dog and that dog. It has to be at a vet within 24 hours. You not only have no water, no shelter type situations, thin dogs that need to go to the vet, but you brought this dog into us yesterday and that was sheer animal cruelty. That was medical non-treatment, ma'am. That is against the law. Your nice. dog was messed up. I know that. And you did yeah, nothing. Yeah. So basically, by your negligence, not treating that dog, he was brought to our shelter and put to sleep. And, and that's just the reality of the whole thing. Right now, you're in trouble with the law. Just neglected. Just nobody ever gave him any veterinary care or food. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stitch shows the same response to food, and he's even more emaciated than Simone. Dr. Sanders decides to take an x-ray to see if that can give any clue as to why. No one is expecting what the x-ray shows. Am I okay. seeing what I think I'm seeing? What the? Yeah, those are rocks. Oh, you got to be kidding rocks. me. That's crazy. That, that's the whole stomach area right here. Yeah. Leo Egar is examining the stomach contents of Stitch, the emaciated dog that investigator A.J. Meadows brought in. 60 rocks have been removed at a post-mortem. You can imagine the pain this animal was in every time your stomach contracts, grinding these against the Would stomach wall. Would these pass through eventually, or are they just always going to sit there? When you get to this size, and yeah. that size, and that size? No. No. Think about you and I when we're hungry and what we experience, and to think about experiencing that as an animal who's reliant upon man for its nourishment and upkeep, and to think to be so desperate that you're basically chewing on the rocks and the sand and the dirt in your own, in your own enclosure. It's, it's, it's cruel and it's, it's tragic because, again, like so many animal cruelty cases, we're not talking about things that require a, an advanced degree or a large amount of money. We're talking about a sack of dog food from the local feed store. You know, some dogs, they, they eat rocks. Okay, granted. But 60 rocks inside of a dog's stomach and absolutely no food in the rest of the intestine. This dog was starving to death. He was, he was trying to do anything and everything he could do to make himself feel full. This dog had to be humanely put to sleep, but boy, I'll tell you something, he still has a voice, and I'm gonna make sure he's heard. You had three animals on your property. Three animals were severely emaciated and had health issues. You brought one in, it went through my doctors. We took the other two off your property that you owner surrendered. Yeah. All of those animals had x-rays, blood work, medical exams by a licensed veterinarian. Yeah. This one had his stomach opened up because of his stomach feeling like a bag of marbles. There was no food in your dog's stomach. I feed those dogs all the time, and I don't buy those all those bags of dog food, not feed them. Why don't you come here, and I'm going to show you something. This is what was cut out of Stitch's stomach after we had to put him to sleep, because he was so severely emaciated and sick. That dog no. A lot of food. <laughs> okay, okay. Lots of food. His, uh, so his stomach was really full. I, okay. That dog ate a lot of food. Okay. Lots of food. That's what came out of your dog's stomach, ma'am. Sixty rocks. That dog played. Not a rocks. bit of food was in its intestine. That dog eats a Sixty lot of food. rocks. Big Do you know the only food that was in that dog's stomach was the ID can that I gave him right before we had to put him to sleep because he was so sick. Yeah, he ate a lot of rocks. Those dogs eat a lot of food, and there's no way in hell. You are so amazing. You are so amazing. How do you stick with your story? Because it's the truth. 60 rocks? Basically, she is still stating that she does not starve her animals. Uh, there's no way that dog had 60 rocks in his stomach. Uh, he does bite rocks and play with rocks. She's in total denial. She's she's gonna stand here and and say anything she can. She you know she's shaking in her boot. It's been two months since Arizona Humane Society investigator A.J. Meadows brought in two emaciated dogs. Stitch was found to have 60 rocks in his stomach, 
and had to be humanely euthanized. Thankfully, his companion Simone gained weight in the care of the AHS. The evidence in the case has been passed to the prosecutor who will decide whether charges should be pursued against the